when the arm is being bent to the correct angle or as close as it's going to get which is about there next thing we need to do is to uh, mark out the two semicircles on each end I've already done this end but I'll show you how to mark out that end the tool we're going to use is a pair of odd leg calibers we don't actually need to measure it all we need to do is to gauge how far it is to the center gauge the center there and draw a line best to set this up in the engineer's vice so I'll just want so with it set in the vice we can use the odd leg caliber set them to about halfway scribe a line now it doesn't matter if it's not exactly halfway because when you mark it from the other side if it's out at all you'll end up with two parallel lines and the center will be right in between those two lines and because they're so close together that's quite easy to estimate and across the end like that now because there is a slight gap between the two lines that means that I won't center punch it right on this line which I've drawn parallel to the end I'll take that back just a little bit to make allowance for that to create a nice center punch mark I'm going to use the dividers to mark the semicircle ideally we should be using uh, engineers compasses that will still be fine so I'm going to use a hacksaw just to trim a corner off if you're not very good with a hacksaw you may be best off simply piling it all the way pressing it against the nail start there and cut the horizontal across do make sure not to cut over onto the semicircle and finally right the way through there bend that off a little bit hot so be careful put that to one side and now I can file that into a nice rounded curve Find over the top of that. Make sure you, your work is nice and low on the vice. Make sure that the vice, make sure the vice is not uh, interfering with the bend. So file that flat first of all. If you point this file very slightly upwards, it will make less noise. File that flat. Then I'm going to file this corner up. there, and the same on that corner. Right, so it's quite distinctly flat. I'm not having been rocking the file. I just wanted to get it. Now I can see I've still got the line left. I'm going to now file it down to the line. So I'm going to put it into the vice that way, which makes it slightly more difficult to see the line. And if we use a scooping action like that, we try to concentrate on the corners, not the flat bit. So that first corner there, and that bit. And that one and it's blended in like that now, so that's one done and I think I'll cut the other one with the hacksaw put that in there and we can finish off find this up and again I haven't gone over the line it's just touching the line so I'll put that into the vise Still got a little bit more to come off there. And then, as before, I've got a file flat on this side. Point off. Turn that around. Take this corner off. 